Good morning, it's Greg here again with a sort of a, I don't know, introduce you to a new company. Um, I was approached by a company called Giro, www.girodesign.com which is just a, a, a diorama company with selling the uh, plaster bricks, uh, diorama bases, uh, lots of little accessories all in 135 scale. And I was approached by email a few couple of weeks ago if I would... Uh, be interested in using some of their products in some of my builds so I said yes I'll uh, I'll go ahead and try and do something like that for you and and then I said they sent me some stuff over uh, you know just some bits and pieces and I think they're gonna send me some over on a regular basis once uh, they start producing them getting them you know getting them well known so hopefully you'll you chaps can uh, have a look at their web page I'll say I'll put it in the link down below for you to uh, have a rummage through. So without further ado, I'll, say I'll give you the little, little, little bit of a letter, if you can read that. That was quite, uh, it's quite nice. It's a German company, I should say. It's all the way in Germany as well. So, and, you know, it's uh, quality stuff. So, so I was quite surprised to uh, to be asked to do that. I thought, well, well, after all these channels on the website, on the uh, YouTube, and they, and they picked lonely me. It was a, it was a sort of a shock and sort of a, a privilege really to be sort of thought of uh, quite highly by this company. So without further ado, I'll show you a few of the things that they actually sent me. Some of these, uh, these are all bags and they're all written in German, so I can't quite pronounce them. But these are the um, paving stones. Well, they're all 135 scale, so we can have a look. There's quite a lot in the bag, so you you know, it's just. You know the paling stones. You're just obviously making your uh, for doing paving, obviously. So they're yeah, quite nice and you know, nicely, nicely moulded. Got a nice texture on the top. A coarse texture on the top. If you know, so it looks a bit more like pavements. Obviously, you could, you'll be um, weathering them as well, so you'll be able to uh, bring. Even more detail out when you ever start to weather them. So that's the um, paving stones. So there's quite a lot in there. Really, you have to check the weight on that, but uh, there's quite a lot in there. It's, real, it's cheap as well, I must admit. I was quite surprised with the prices. And now we have um, cobblestones, which is basically the smaller version of the um, paving stones. So they're quite nice. It's going to be tedious and tedious to do and put them together, but you got you know we're here to build, to build these things. You know, so we can you know build your your cobblestones if you're on a cobble street, which a lot of the uh, sort of French streets did have in the uh, in the Second World War. So they're quite nice, and they say there's quite a lot in there. I wouldn't like to hazard a guess how many is in there. I have to check on the web page, but so that's the. Um, there's lots more obviously than, than I have here, so I think they said they're going to send me some out each month to uh, review. And then we have curb stones, obviously for around the edges of the, uh, the curbs, which are just nice long, long pieces. And I think, yeah, just the long pieces, not curved pieces in here, so. You know, we can build the curbs up like that, you know, as normal, nothing too elaborate with them again, but so yeah, quite a lot in the back again, so it make you you'd get a good uh, a good a good street out of it if you see what I mean. There's quite a lot in these bags. I think they're about I can't remember what he said, four 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 pound uh to found. Four and a half euros, four pound so yeah it's about the same in English nowadays, isn't it? So it's about it's under a fiver anyhow. In a big bag, so I said quite a lot in there, and then we have sort of the uh, the red bricks, rubble bricks, you know, from houses and things like that. For the uh, one thing, you know, that's quite a lot in there. If you can if you look at the bag, there's a hell of a lot in there. And obviously, you've got the dust as well, this is like rubble and bricks and things like that. So, you know, you can see the amount in there, it's gonna, la it's gonna last you a decent amount of time. To uh, you know, use all them. So there's, there's a hell of a lot in there. 
really is a hell of a lot for what you're going to pay for. So they say there's more than this, there's more, there's more than uh, other things on the website. So please do have a, have a good look at the website and, and, and you'd be quite surprised what's on there. You say it's just sort of a, an up and coming uh, diorama sort of website so nobody knows them. So just, you know, they want to uh, you know spread the wings and ask a few people. Maybe I'm not the only one they've asked, I don't know. Um, just you know to give my honest review and tell you where they got them from and they also sent me the um, it's the west wall of the uh, can't remember what it's bloody called now two seconds I can, do, I can never remember terrible terrible memory I've got terrible memory we have it's for the west wall for the uh, Friedrich line it's a uh, and they do them in plaster and they do them in resin as well but this is just a plaster one so that's the the box cover so it's in German as well so maybe one thing they could maybe start putting a few English uh, wordings on it but the, you, on the website you can convert the uh, translation to English so it's not too bad so you're not already actually ordering so as you can see this is part of the west wall so what's contained in this box it's quite a heavy box We have a set of instructions, but say it's in German again, but it's fairly straightforward. Maybe it's something they could look into, maybe uh, adding an English uh, wording to it. I could, say I could maybe suggest that to them. So you've got a, it's a few, you know, give me what you've got in the box. You've got three of these, six of those, three of those, two of those, three of those. And then we have the... Uh, all the things to make to build up sort of the part of the west wall. Be nice for a diorama. I've actually got one in mind for it. Uh, speaking to my good friend Joe, and we found a nice picture with a uh, nice Sherman. Some Americans breaking through into the Friedrich lines of the German, you know, into Germany. So it tells it's fairly simple, fairly simple instructions. Um, as you can see, it's all well packed with the uh, bubble wrap and the. Uh, So yeah, so this is what we have to start with some of the bigger pieces. You know, that's quite nice, you can damage them up. You know, there's a few little potholes there. And they're not going to be perfect either, so you can damage them a little bit. So that's the pattern is all the way around. So that's part of the west wall, obviously. So that's one part of that. So it builds up into a you know a dry a, you know built it up dry fitted it and it works really quite well. So it's going to be quite a large diorama, lengthways more than width. And then obviously we have the uh, part of it, all the uh, lintel bits on the bottom, which is built. So they're quite nice again. They say they're all well packed, so there's no cracked or damaged pieces. And you can see you can get this in. Uh, let me just show you. you can get this in resin or gyps, uh, This is called gypsum, as they call it in. Uh, and you can get it in. Yeah, like a resin, which is slightly more expensive. For this one, although this one here is 40, uh, 15 euro, you know, roughly 15 euro for this. So it's not too bad, really. So it's about, well, yeah, Sam again, doing English, it's about just under 15 quid. You see, you get quite a lot, and it builds up quite an impressive lengthways, you know, I mean, obviously you've got you static grass coming through and it's chipped and damaged and pieces missing you know and then obviously where the where the Americans have broke through you can damage more so yeah but I found a nice picture so I'm looking forward to building this see all the little uh, different sizes as well so they're all nicely nicely finished got a nice texture a nice wash would uh, would take Yeah, they've got quite a few. Say they haven't got a lot at the moment, but they're saying that what they've got is looks decent quality stuff. So I, you know, advise you to have a nip, a look, nip across, and have a look and see what uh, there's anything interesting there for you to uh, ever go at yourselves. There's some nice. There's a. Let me just think. What there is on top of my head. We have. Let's start off on the top one. Where are we at? English language. That'd be an idea, wouldn't it? 
translating. So it's uh, just a young up and coming company, so yeah, give them a give them a go, see what you think. Let me just wait till this loads up. The internet's slow today. Uh die around so it's all 135 scale. So we have a uh, sort of Berlin Street. Uh, you have the base and you have the building as well and other bits and pieces on there and that again is 1490 euro 14 point I can't even say it 15 euros just under 15 euros and they have the bat in the gypsum and the ceramic it's the resin it's ceramic the other two uh, the ceramic is 19 euros just under 20 euros so for the for a decent sized base in a house you know, uh, sort of a damaged house. That's that's, rel that's relatively cheap. It really is. I don't have to check the postage. The postage is very thing as well. Cheap. Uh, we've got an old stone bridge as well. That's coming. It's coming soon. So they're building things out as they're coming along, and then we have a German factory base. With a, uh, that's coming out as well, and that's sixteen and a half euro. Just under, just under 17 euro and the ceramic is 24 euro depending on if what, what you like but I say so far the, pl the plaster ones look fine to me I'll have to ask anything send me a, a ceramic one over just to compare the two um, and then we have sort of a Stalingrad street with a bit of a railway line on there as well uh, and that's 18 nearly 19 euro yeah so it's quite nice again and then we have a Ardent's Offensive. Uh, we have like, the, like a small bridge and a cottage on one side, and that's fifteen and a half euro. See the Ardent's Offensive German name company. I can't pronounce it. Wachen Rhein was an attempt by the German armed forces to inflict great defeat on the Western Allies. In small yards, the exhausted troops found shelter to meet the enemy with recovered strength. So they're like little buildings with a you know forcing the uh, Allies down a sort of a smaller smaller funnel them in basically so they can shoot them down but that's quite nice as well and then we have the Battle of Cologne which is another street path again and some brick walls and caps again on the top that's, they're all roughly 15 euro most of them are 15 euro yeah and then again you can weather them up paint them up and then we have the Führer's Bunker as well which I've never seen anywhere before you know it's that's 15 euro as well and say again it's uh, that's for the uh, gypsum one and the ceramic is 24 so like a 10, 10 euro difference really to say that again depending on what you want um, that builds a bit of a quite impressive thing inside as well you've got the actual square block on the top and then the round part that was on the side and then you have obviously what I've showed you the western wall so that's it in the moment they have that but I, I say I would and they have a few accessories as well, so um, they've got like barbed wire, bricks like I've showed you, uh, barbed wire which is quite nice, ammunition boxes which are under a, fi under a fiver, quite a few, there's five different model box models, but in grey obviously you can paint them up, here yeah, we have rubble as well, grey rubble big bag for eight and a half euro quite nice really big bag again and the pavement stones which I showed you there nine nine euro well nearly ten euros for the big bag the curb stones again just under nine euro sorry just under yeah just under nine euros pavement slab again they're all just under nine euros so it's, it's they're quite nice and then we have the uh, I can't pronounce I wouldn't I wouldn't have a clue how to pronounce that but they have some uh, tiles as well, roof tiles. Can't even pronounce that, which is seven and a half euro. And then we have some weathering mud, which I'll uh, have to send me next time to have a look at it, see what it looks like. So that's it at the moment. They say they're an up and coming company. They have also modeling clay texture paste as well, solvent free for just under 250 mils, is just under five euro. And then you have a 500 mil, which is just under eight euro, under nine euro. But I would just check the site out, give them a chance. They say it's up and coming, so you know maybe give them a little, a little look at, and uh, see what you think. Obviously, they're bringing new things out 
as they go along. But, uh, yeah, it's so gonna. This is definitely gonna go into a small diorama with the uh, with the Sherman that I'm actually. I haven't actually built the Sherman. The Sherman I've got is a Korean Sherman, so it's no good for this. So I might just do the Easy Eight on this one. I'm not too sure. I'll just double check what you know with the picture on me what I've got. I think it looks like an Easy Eight with a 75 one gun, 75 millimeter. Um, but yeah. It was quite uh, honoured to say the least to say that somebody sort of asked me if I would use their stuff. So they sent me this. So I will be I will be using them as in dioramas as I'm going along, and obviously I'll show you if I uh, want to do them. So but yeah, so give give them a look at. Definitely give them a look at. And you, and you you know, and they came quite fast. This less than a week I got this. Well, probably four days actually. Um, from Germany to here, so uh, which was quite good. And I think it was, uh, I can't remember the company who delivered it now, one of the English courier services. Yeah, so uh, that's quite nice to look at. Ever like I said, give them a good look, give them a chance to uh, show you what they can do for you. And as things, sorry, it's progressed, they'll send me other stuff I can, um, I can show you them as well. Uh, I say, I'm not getting paid for this, they're just sending me the stuff out to, v to view, so. I'm not being paid to say nice things. Uh, if I if I didn't like it, I would say. But no, it's fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. You know, nothing at all wrong with it. So, they're worth giving them a go. Um, I think there's anything else on that subject. No, I think that's it really. So I'll say I'll leave the uh, the website address in the bottom of the uh, comment in the. Just underneath the thing, comments box. Uh, give me a look. So I'd like to say thank you very much to all my subscribers, new and old. See, so we're getting near 400 now. It's quite surprising. Didn't say in too long. I was only eating 250. I think, I think I'm about 16 away, 14 away from 400 now. So going in the right direction again. So I'm quite happy with that. So I'll close here, but I'll be doing another video in the. Uh, in this today at some point with the uh, bench update of what's, what's what I've been doing since I finished the uh, Enigma um, so I think that's it isn't it nothing else to say all to say is just give them a look that's all I'm asking nothing else just have a see what the, if there's anything that interests you and say as thing goes on they're producing more stuff as, as time goes on so this is Greg signing off and we'll speak to, speak to you soon <laughs>